All right, YouTube, I've labeled this video how to repaint outdoor furniture, patio furniture, some people like to call it. This uh, particular set I've got here is actually a uh, wrought iron set that who knows when they were made or who they were made by, but uh, at some point it was uh, sold in the store somewhere and repainted uh, years later by someone else, not me, and now uh, I wanted to put a nice fresh coat of paint on these, hopefully that will last a while, and uh, I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, may not be the way everybody does it, but uh, I think it's the way that uh, would be uh, best for most people. Uh, I'm starting out here pressure washing. Uh, if you don't pressure wash whatever you're going to paint, it's probably not going to stick. It's probably not going to stay. It's not going to last very long. It's going to peel up. All that stuff that uh, you don't want. So after I pressure washed all of these, I flipped them over pressure wash the underside, the backside, every corner crevice that I could get to. Tried to pressure wash all that old white paint off, but I, I didn't I didn't get it all off. I've got a just an inexpensive pressure washer I bought from a uh, Harbor Freight. I've had a lot of different ones. This one's electric, but you can use, you know, whatever you've got available. I've I've got a gas powered pressure washer and uh, it might do a lot better job but uh, for what I'm doing here uh, I just took my time with it with what I you know what I had uh, that day and uh, it turned out pretty good on the pressure washing side I got enough of it off to where I felt comfortable in uh, of course letting it dry properly before I attempted to put any kind of paint on it it's very important because if you don't let uh, let it dry, you know, the water, uh, it's just not going to stick. So here I am, I've got my <laughs> inexpensive spray paint that uh, I like. I get it from Dollar General. And uh, the black's my favorite uh, for many different projects. And a word of advice, if you use the black gloss only, sometimes it doesn't stick very good. But if you use the black flat first, kind of like a primer, it does better. And the same way with any kind of spray paint, if you put a, a really light coat on at first, almost kind of like a dusting it just does better because I've spray painted so many different things if you put a thick coat of, of any kind of spray paint on there whether it's gloss flat you know rust oleum dollar general whatever uh, and you do try to get it all the first coat a lot of times it will wrinkle up the paint underneath it and that sucks because you got to start all over. So whatever you're using, whatever spray paint you're using, um, just put a light coat first. And that's what I'm doing here. I got the back of this chair and I'm just putting a real light coat of uh, flat black on there. And I'll come back later uh, after this dries pretty good and put a coat of uh, you know, glossy black, same brand. And uh, that works good for me. Uh, these uh, chairs are a lot easier to paint than that table you see in the background. I had to do a lot of taping on that table. I'm not going to take you through the whole video process, but I had to take the, the legs off of it. And, uh, it's pretty lengthy, but it, it really turned out nice. If you look here, you can see that you know with a good 
you know, really good cleaning of, of whatever you're painting and letting it dry, you know, going through this, you know, pretty simple process of uh, cleaning it and applying a, a light dust coat of whatever paint you're using. It, it turns out great. It really does, and it lasts a long time. So I'll leave you with some still frame pictures I took uh, after I put it out in the yard. I uh, was originally doing this project uh, thinking that I was going to resell these, which I might, but uh, they look so nice, uh, I kind of just want to keep them. Uh, if you watch my channel, I usually keep everyone posted on uh, at least stuff like this pertaining to my recent videos. Uh, and if you would please go ahead and subscribe uh, and like this video if you liked it. If not, comment either way. Let me know if I did good, did bad. This, by the way, is my first shot at doing a voiceover video. Let me know how I did, and uh, thanks for watching.